Hey folks, Randy Go Trot Magnet Man with you here today. Uh, this is going to be a little video about how to uh, put a trot magnet on a trot magnet jig head and a uh, Daiwa saltwater light game jig head and get the body on there straight. It's also going to be a, a video of where I went out and caught uh, uh, about, I don't know, close to 90, 100 trout over in Normandy the uh, day before yesterday. Uh, had a fantastic day there. Uh, they, there's probably... At this point in time, there's probably 15, 16,000 trout and seven miles of water, and I, I mean they were they were there. They were all stalkers, wasn't anything big. Caught them on a bison and a white colored trout magnet twitching. Uh, tried fishing under the float; they didn't seem to want that, but they they wanted it twitching. It was a lot of fun. Used the uh, fine tail banshee six foot super ultralight. It was a whole lot of fun. Uh, and uh, got the winners, which I pinned it already on the um, other video. But the winner for the Greeny Weenies is Ron Merringer. And the winner for the Trout Slayer Kit is Mason Norman. If y'all will get in touch with me uh, at troutmagnetman at gmail.com, I will uh, get them mailed out to you. And we're going to, uh, as, I, as you know, I still have a rod to give away and have a couple more Trout Magnet Kits to give away. Uh, we're going to do that uh, just with all this coronavirus and all this. Uh, going to give time, uh, give things time to settle down a little bit. Uh, don't want to be going to the post office just right now, but I will, I will be. I will get these out in the mail. Uh, I can mail them from the house. Uh, the rods have to go to the post office. But anyway, um, one more uh, Trout Slayer Series rod to give away. And uh, good news for anybody else out there. Uh, I contacted B&M Poles. Uh, most of you may be familiar with B&M rods. Uh, if you're a crappie fisherman, uh, they they make all sorts of rods, but they're they're really well known for their longer rods. People who spider rig, uh, single pole, uh, uh, tight lining. Uh, they are in partnership with Leland's Lures Trout Magnet, and they have a rod called the TCB series. It's trout, crappie, and bluegill. Is what the TCB stands for. And I asked them, would they mind sending me a couple of rods uh, for me to test out and review? They're very similar. Uh, in many ways, they're almost identical to the Trout Slayer series rods, but there's, there's a few differences. The difference in the guides are different, and the length of the rod is a little bit different, one inch difference. Uh, but anyway, uh, those rods came in. So I'm going to do a review of them. I'm going to test them out and give you some casting distances, tell you how they work on twitching for trout over in Normandy because that's the closest place for me to go to test them out. And then I'm going to give them away. Uh, and then, truly, really mean it 100%, I will be done with giveaways. Um, I just thought I'd ask for those two rods from B&M. Uh, a lot of people have been asking about them. What's the difference between them and a the trout slayer? And uh, basically, they're, they're, from what I can tell by just handling them, they're the same. But uh, uh, B&M is a, is a, is a, is a well-known rod company, uh, and I'm sure they'll sell a lot of these. It, it is a nice rod. Uh, I've already weighed it. It weighs the same thing, uh, almost within a few grams of the uh, Trout Slayer Series rod. It's a nice rod. be a nice rod for somebody. It is uh, high graphite content and be super sensitive. So anyway, I have two of those, uh, uh, and I'm, I'm very happy that, uh, and I want to thank B&M for sending me those rods to test out, uh, and some of y'all that watch my channel are going to be the recipient of their goodwill, and we'll, we'll get those to you when we get them up and give them away. Uh, but anyway, about the fishing trip at Normandy, uh, had a lot of fun, had a whole lot of fun using a six-foot super ultralight. I mean, had some current. Uh, Water flow was about 345 cubic feet a second over there. That's a little bit more than you like to twitch in, but uh, I did it. Uh, used a uh, Darwin uh, Gekabin uh, 1.5 gram and a 2 gram jig head to get it down. Uh, water was going where I'm fishing was going down there pretty swift to be fishing a 164 trout magnet. That that wasn't going to fly if you was twitching. That just wouldn't work. Uh, so. Uh, uh, hope all of you are doing well. Hope. hope don't any of you have this uh, coronavirus? Hope, hope, hope you don't get it. Hope I don't get it. Uh, and uh, I'm going to be going fishing. Uh, I don't have to run into people when I go fishing. Uh, just as soon as I get a, another break in the weather, uh, which looks like it's going to be Monday. Uh, hope I can get out there Monday, uh, get on some more fish. So until next time, so lip them all and life is good. Okay, we're going to try to 
get this trout mounted on this jig head here. Now here's what I do. Um, if I'm using the Daiwa saltwater light game jig head or, or, or any other jig head besides trout magnets, you're going to have to adjust your trout magnet to fit on a jig head if it's not a trout magnet jig head. Uh, the reason I use other jig heads is um, the trout magnet jig head is a 164th ounce. Uh, well, I'm fishing a lot deeper water than I used to fish years ago. So I've had to go up to these heavier jig heads, and that's that's one of the reasons I have the Daiwa Gekkabin jig heads. And plus, they're extremely sharp. Uh, they will penetrate. I mean, a, a fish just touches it, they penetrate. But what I do with a trout magnet body is I will cut the first two sections of the head off. Now, I used to cut the tail off, but found out early on that's not good. I've been doing this a long time. Uh, cutting these things and then what you do is I line up the flat side You can line up any side you want. I just do the flat side because it's just easier for me to do and We thread it through there You want it to come out and the split between the tail You want it on there and there it is straight uh, Or straight as I'm gonna get it anyway um, the older I get, the worse I see. <laughs> but anyway, that uh, that sits on there nice. We'll have to see how this comes out in the video. But that sits on there very nice. Um, and you want it straight. You want to keep it perfectly straight. All right, folks. With the trout magnet jig head, you don't cut any of the trout magnet body off. Because this hook is designed with a shank to perfectly fit the trout magnet body. Uh, and just push it up on there till you get to the split in the tail and there you see it's, it's pretty darn straight and that's how you do it that's all there is to it and I've had a lot of people ask me uh, does it matter if you're using a uh, multicolored trout magnet uh, color does it does it you know does it matter which side is up or down which side is off to the left or right well I'm gonna tell you something uh, a lot of people will try to adjust that where the color is either down up or off to one side or the other I, I experimented with that years ago um, especially with the bison with the black and gold I didn't find any difference um, I know a lot of trout guys will swear it works better one way than it does the other way, but I have just not noticed that. I mean, uh, when you're catching fish one right after another, um, I, I just don't think it makes any difference. But y'all can, of course, you can, you can put it on there any way you want to. But the most important thing is to get that on there straight. And I've got that there on straight on the trout magnet jig head. I got it straight on the Daiwa Gebekin jig head, Daiwa Gekabichin. I'll learn how to pronounce that someday. But anyway, there is how I do my trout magnets on the jig heads. There he is, folks. There he is. First fish of the day. First fish of the day. On the fine tail banshee. Pretty little trout. This current, he gives me quite a battle here. Get him in here. Get him in here. There he goes. That's a nice little fish. Nice little fish. He's, he's fat. That joker is fat. That's a pretty trout. Pretty trout. He's fat. He probably has been getting fat. There he is. There he is. Oh, he's a long way downstream. Long way downstream.
Here it comes. Yes, sir, this is just a lot of fun, folks. Just a lot of fun. Get him. Yep, nice fish for what I'm fishing with. There he is, there he is, folks. Catching the fire out of him today. Sure is a lot of fun with his fine tail. Banshee six foot super ultra light. Get over here and get my net on this one again. I don't need that now, I think. Another pretty stalker rainbow. Pretty fish. Pretty fish. Here we go, folks. Here we go. Got me another trout here. Point is current on this setup. They really fight hard. They really do. They really do. This one's all covered. Another pretty, pretty stalker. A lot of fun. There he is. <laughs> oh, folks, it's a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, he's a jumper. He's a jumper. Not much size to this one, but hey, it's a lot of fun, folks. I'm telling you, 2.3 pound test ester monofilament line, fine tail banshee, six foot super ultralight, just a lot of dang fun. There we go, folks. There we go. Just got to get it down there to them. Man, that's a lot of fun. What you talking about? Stalker trout fishing, catching one during your ever cast? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Another little stalker. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. There he is. There he is. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. A lot of fun, folks. Here on the mighty Duck River of Normandy. The mighty Duck River at Normandy. Just nice little stalker trout. Here we go. Here we go, folks. <laughs> oh, he's a jumper. He's a jumper. Tell you what, in this current, it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Oh yeah, shoot ya. Shoot ya. Another nice little stalker. They're fat. Here we go, here we go, folks. Switch color. They were getting used to that bison I'll tell you what now it's just been a fun day all the way around it's just <laughs> uh, I don't know how many trout I've caught there ain't been no real big ones but 
you can only catch what's in here. This choker here is cutting up now. Yes, sir. He's cutting up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come in now. Simmer down now. Simmer down now. Another pretty stalker. Here we go. Here we go, folks. Another trout. Oh, that's a lot of fun. Man, that's a ton of fun. Yes, sir. A lot of fun. In this current. Pretty fish. Pretty fish. Pretty, pretty, pretty fish.